I'm Trish Randall, and this is a fake Bigfoot print. It has never been in the woods, and it has not convinced a single person of the existence of Sasquatch. In fact, I personally am not going to believe in Bigfoot until they have a Sasquatch specimen at the Bronx Zoo, okay? Anyway, I created this as a prop for a comedy project, but once I had it in my possession, I thought, I could auction this off online. I mean, why not? You got your Virgin Mary cheese sandwich, you got your nun bun, why not? real fake Bigfoot print. Then I thought even better, real fake Bigfoot print examined by scientists. And obviously I have a camera, so why not real fake Bigfoot print examined by scientists, the true story. And this is that video. I've had a chance to examine this. When they fake relic. This brings us all together. It smells like a Bigfoot, also. Oh, oh. I can tell you one thing right now. These are not the footprints that I saw. Yeah. Is this divinity fudge? And you can tell it's, all, it's an authentic fake by the genuine fake looking outline. It's fine fingers, just like anybody who wants to use a computer. If you turn it over, the central part of it is current issues of local newspapers. This looks like something my mother made for dessert. If you have two of these, you could say it's quite a feat. Okay, I'm sure there are some who would wonder why anyone would go to the trouble of maintaining this obviously fragile fake Bigfoot print, gathering up the scientists, producing and posting the video, and listing this item on an online auction. And that is a fair question. What I hope to do is to create the world's first skeptical relic. And by that, I mean an object of no intrinsic value, with no practical purpose, that was created with no intention of convincing anyone of anything. Oh, and also for the record, I wanted to show that not every skeptic is a stodgy old relic who doesn't know how to have a good time.